All right, today we're gonna bring a gigabyte uh, bridge, and these are two small individual bridges that you get to set up as a bridge or point-to-point -point systems or expand your internet. This is perfect way to do it. Now, let me show you a couple things that you should be aware. These per need PoE, power over ethernet, and the only way you can provide them is through these modules, all right? So you need to connect one with a PoE, where it says PoE right there, and the other one's gonna be to the system itself. Now on the other end, we're gonna talk a little bit more about it. So one has to be program in A, and the other one has to be program in B. And they have to have the same frequency. So number one, all the way to, I believe 16, there's a bunch of frequencies that you could set up. But one, we're gonna do one test in one, A and B, and we're gonna set it up. They give you a couple tie downs in case you wanna set these up in a pole. If you guys can see that for the pole, these are covers for the bottom of it to make it waterproof seal and because they're gonna be outdoors. For a couple blocks here, we don't have a five mile range to set this up and test this out as it's supposed to be, but we have a couple blocks that we can test it out. And we're gonna do that, not just in close by, close quarters, but we're also gonna do long range. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so if you have a neighbor in the middle of nowhere and you have a line of sight, you can set these up to have internet across from each other line of sight then there's no way you're going to be able to set these up these need to be um the further you are the harder it is to match them each other right so you have to find the frequency you got to find the same settings and i'm going to show you how to do it so a couple things you should know all right let's start with a now the reason i say a if you bottom there's a little switch a little lever and i'm going to flip it over so you guys can see a little bit better there's a little lever right there in the corner in the right below the number and there's a and b and then there's a number if you guys can see one through eight you will say you know you have to set that up the frequency we're going to set up a number one and there's also another power source if you want to set it up through a power source if you and now if you have a wireless camera that is far away from your facility you want it to capture certain things and you have power available you can set this up to go from one end to the other end they do give you a manual very detailed manual how to set this up of course the connections come with every single one comes with a cover and like i said in the bottom of it it gives you a couple descriptions too we're, we're going to set it up so you guys can see it right now there is a meter on the right hand and the b you're going to use the meter to make sure it says v w land that's when you actually got a good connection the greener you get the better connection you get. So if it turns turns gray or red or any other color, yellow, then you don't have a good settings, right? Just make sure on LAN one, green, and then maximum um, where it says W LAN, that's the distance that we're gonna get. If you have longer distance or not a good signal, it's gonna drop down the actual bar. If you notice from lower to higher. So just make sure be aware of that. We're gonna be on the field and we're gonna try to, to get that to mimic so we can actually change it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that if you guys can see the bridge here we have it at number one and we have this one in a all right this one's set in a so this is gonna be a signal we are running the cable cable all the way to our garage now let's take a look at the b version here we have b and B signal, look at the signal, right? We are good in the signal. It's green and we're also on B on this one. And we're B on this one and we're number one also too. So the signal is because we're close by right now, but we're still gonna do a test between this bridge and this bridge right here. Okay, the way it works, um, this one is a PoE on the actual box. It goes straight to the actual system itself, right? Now the secondary, if you guys can see, that actually goes to my computer, into my laptop here. And that's where we're gonna run some tests on it. So we're gonna put in speed tests, speed tests, all right? I'm gonna go into speed test. I'm gonna run a test here. So let's run a test, run the test. And right now we're still getting 80 by, you know, we're supposed to get 100 by 100, but 80 is good enough for me. So we could work with that. So let's see how much uh, upload speed we're getting. Now we're getting the speeds that we're supposed to. So 
it took a couple of tries maybe twice and then now it's picking up as it's supposed to be so we're at 90 by 90 and this is a bridge remember that so we're not even far right now we're gonna set it up right now we have our antenna number one here if you guys can see antenna number one here and it's really close by here so the way we're gonna do we're just gonna have to make sure that the symbol is all the way to the land and there is a little off right now but we're gonna fix that up in a bit you could adjust it how you want like for example I'm gonna move the antenna this way and it still picks up because we're close by anything around the range of it is good is gonna pick up all right we're able to get a the actual meter to read high speeds right now and I'm gonna point to you guys where the actual bridge is at. It is way out there. I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as I can. I do have a, a Samsung 21 that does long range. And there's the actual antenna. And we're gonna, we're like two blocks away, all right, from it. So this is how far we are from here, from the actual antenna. And we're getting, we're getting really good speeds. Like I said, over there was 90 by 90 and here is where 88 by 92 so the speeds are awesome speeds look at that look at look how far we are that's a bridge right there there's a you see my daughter right underneath the bridge and the signal is really really good because like i said i tested out 100 by 100 and it's extremely far we got the test going test again just to verify and right now we do have a landline connected with a little because this is a surface it's a type c to type c and then we do have a power module powering up the poe so the poe is powered through here under under where it says poe and then lan is of course the yellow one that we have in the computer and then we have the stand right in the corner of our neighborhood working very well So easy to use, easy to set up. Hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.